all right guys welcome back so in the last video we created the edit functionality of our application that allows us to be able to see the details of the player and uh, click on edit so that we get all the values back and we are able to change uh, field if we want and then we we'll submit it and it gets updated so what i would like to do in this video is um, i would like to create the the add player functionality so when we click on add player we are navigated to a new component that uh, brings a form and allows us to add a new player so let's get started with that so i'm going to move over to visual studio code and here we are i'm going to bring back my terminal bring back a new terminal just drag it up a bit and now I'm going to generate a new component and I'm going to call it um, add player or new player let's go with add player so ng our terminal g for generate c for our component and we are going to put that as usual in our components folder and we are going to call this component add add player and as usual we don't want the unit test so we're going to skip that all right so our component is generated so as we can see we have add player and we have edit player so the next thing i want to do is i want to set up our route to that component so whenever we hit on that add player button on the navigation it takes us to that component so let me quickly go over to my app.routing.modul.cs this is where we define all our routes we have one for the player component player details and the edit player component now we want to create one for the add player so i'm going to add one just i can add it above the other one so i'm just going to open the braces and then add the part here and for this we want to go to player slash um we call it add so let's say add and then for the component we are going to be going to that new component we generated which is add player component and then we want to comma at the end all right so we defined our part i'm going to save that the next thing I want to do is I want to go to the the navigation um, component and right at the header we want to modify this um, link so that when we click it we get uh, navigated to our add player component. So to do that I'm going to use router link as before and we want to set that to player slash add and we can add a slash at the beginning just like we have on the other urls like this one so i'm going to quickly save that and then when we check that on our browser here if we hit on the add player now we get navigated to the add player works all right so this is working now the next thing i want to do is i want to bring in our angular form here and add all the fields that we need and then we're going to have a form and we should be able to submit that form but this this is very um similar with what we have done with our edit component form um right here so um for us to be very fast with this i'm going to copy all this over to my add player component so that will be very fast in making this um uh, functionality so let's head back to visual studio code and let's go to our edit player component and go to the html and we want to quickly copy this code we have here and modify it so i'm going to copy the edit player and i head over to the add player uh, html so i'm going to replace that with this and we have some errors and we're going to fix that in a bit here we have update player function that we call when we submit the form but now we want to change it to add player 
because we don't have any update player anymore and for the ng model we are binding to that player object we have from the ts file but here we don't need that since we're just adding the the player so what we just need to do here we just need to add the ng model directive and that would create the um the fields automatically for us so we just need to put ng model here and i can take this off and I can put ng model. I can do the same here. Take this off and add ng model. And we can add this ng model because we imported the forms module to our app.model um, file. And here we can do it for the last one ng model. for select okay and we also have this um, place here where we are displaying the selected position from the details page so we want to remove that because we don't need that anymore so we're going to have uh, an empty selection at first and then we can select whatever we want so I'm going to just put an empty selection there so option and the value is an empty selection so I'm going to save that and our form looks good except this um, add player function that we haven't created so i'm going to copy it and we are going to head over to the ts file and we are going to create that um, function so we have this add player function that takes in a template parameter and this is going to be the type of ng form okay we're going to import that and just for starters let's just log in the, the values we get when we submit the form to the console. So I'm going to do console.log, then I'm going to pass f.values f .value, um, to the console and we should get everything there. All right, let's go back to our browser. And now we have um, our form. So if I go back, we have this. And if I hit on add player, we get our form and now we can just enter any random value let's say um cristiano last name ronaldo oops just the test value so i want to hit tab and not that okay and for the age let's say he's he's 34 now i think country he's from portugal and his position is a forward okay and then we hit submit nothing happens but we should get those the, the objects now um, in our console so if i inspect that and i open the console you see we have an object here and all the values here are logged to the console and we are getting all these values back because of our ng model that binds the model of the form to all the input um, values okay so i'm just going to go back here and we have our ng model in place that is binding with this template variable and we have all the form um, display um, here now the next thing we want to do is we want to create a add um, the add method that would allow um, us to add the player to our database because now we're getting the players here and just like we did for the edit player right here we have this update uh, method that takes in the id and the value and updates it um, to our database we need another method from the service that's going to take all this value and update it to our database so let's go back to our services and player.service.ts so we have the get all we have the get and we have the update and we need a new one for add so let's create a new one we're going to call it add and um, what do we need to add we need to add the player it's going to be of type player okay and um, we're going to use the db object this dot db and that's going to be the object the type is player and then we want to go to the 
the location of that in our database that's slash players okay and then we want to call the add method it should be the add method just Um, actually, so this is just getting a single object, but we want the reference to our list, not the object. So sorry about that. This is going to be a reference to the list of players. And now we get that push method that is going to push this new object that we've just created into our list of players. So here we are getting the list of the list of players. We are getting just an object. We are updating just an object sorry about that we are updating just an object and um then in in the other method we're going to push we're going to push to the to the list so the push and then we want to pass in the player to the method so I'm going to do this, the DB leaves the player, the push, and then we want to push the player. All right, this should push our player for us. That's it. So I'm going to save that, and then we're going to head back to our component, the TS, and instead of logging this to the console, let's call our, let's inject our service first. So I'm going to say private player service, player service i'm going to inject that to our component and then i'm going to call this with this dot player service dot um the name of the method we just created is add and then i'm going to pass in um the values from the form which is this f dot value right here so this is going to add this to our database and it's going to get listed in the form. So this is all we have to do. Um, so let's try this on the browser and see how it works. So let's close the console and we have this. We hit on add player. We want to add a new player and let's add uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and his age 34 country is from portugal and for the position we have this list here and i'm going to select forward and when we hit on submit when we hit on submit that has been added but we don't get redirected here so if i check here you see i click that button two times so we have it added two times so before we end this um video let's just um create a route so when we add a new player we get navigated back here to our home page so just like we did for the edit so i'm going to go back to a player as a uh, service because here we have the same thing here for our edit after we updated the player we navigate back to the home page so i'm going to simply copy this and go back here after we added the player we're going to navigate back to the home page so we can see it but we have an error here because we are not injecting the router so i'm going to inject the router real quick i'm going to add private router and I'm going to add the router here and import it from Angular the router. All right, so now we've added this. Let's test it one more time. So I'm going to add a new player and this time, this time, who do I want to add? Let's add Carlos Tevez. Carlos Tevez. He used to be a very good player for Man City. I think now he's about 40. He's from Argentina. And his position, he's a forward. So when I submit this, we get redirected back to our default page, our home page, and then we see Carlos Tevez here. So 
one thing i want to do in the next video when we hit this add player we're getting all those values for the position we're getting it um we are statically adding them to our page right so if we go back here we see we are adding this uh, value um, statically it's, it's static um, you can see them displayed here on the options but we want to dynamically load them from our database we already have a database field for that so we want to load them from the database and display here so this is what we will be doing in the next video if i just go to the database to show you and we log into our database You can see that we have um, players here and we have these positions here. So we'll be loading the position from our database with this. All right, so I'm going to see you in the next video.